What is up, you guys? Your boy Terminator 007, and I am bringing you another episode of Wars with Friends. I am over here with Blazing Buds, and we are going to go ahead and check out an attack on number three. But I kind of want to just show you the <laughs> devastation they did on this war. 28 stars. So they were really close to a perfect war. They only missed two, a Town Hall 10 here, and a Town Hall uh, 9. But base 8 coming up and 2 starring a Town Hall 10. That is always a great thing to have. You want to have some Town Hall 9s in your clan that can 2 star 10s. That's a great option to go with. If you have 10s that can maybe try to drop down in 3 star lower 10s, you really want to have those 9s that can step up and secure the upper bases. That way you're not missing up out on those stars there. But the attack we're going to look at is by Lars. And he is a Town Hall 9, but he's doing <laughs> this Go Volo. And he's using Earthquake spells, and it was an absolutely beautiful attack. And with these clans using these Wizards and Witches and CCs, I've been seeing this, uh, especially with lower level clans, but they're going up against a level 3 clan here. That's not too terribly low. But anyway, he's going in with the golems over here. He's getting a nice wide spread on them, using a minion over here to help get that break. Kind of missed on the minion over here, but that's all right. And then just these earthquake spells devastate, absolutely devastate this ring right here. They cleared out that lair right there, which leaves a nice wide spot for his Valkyries to just run through the core. There is nowhere for them to go but to the core. It's, except with a jump spell, they can kind of jump around and do things that you don't want them to. But they're not going to do that with this. I've heard people saying that they don't see Earthquake strategy as a viable 3-star strategy in war except for at Town Hall 8 level. Here's your proof right here. It absolutely destroys this base. So he's already in on these air defenses. This thing is done. Those air defenses go down and in a moment here. Okay, he's already starting these loons around the edges, just targeting those archer towers. Those are the main things you want to get to. His wizard in here is going to take care of that wizard tower, and this attack is done. Just needs that one archer tower up there to fall, which it will after that balloon drops down. So, oh, maybe it doesn't go on that one, but still, he has plenty of loons left. They're coming over here to mob this one archer tower, and then he's got these Valkyries. Look, he pretty much has all his Valkyries remaining. Using that Earthquake right there allowed his Valkyries to get in there without taking much damage. I absolutely love this. I'm going to be trying this myself. I can only try it on my Town Hall 8, maybe my Town Hall 10. But just seeing the amount of destruction these Earthquake spells do is absolutely crazy. I hope some of you try this out, and if so, make sure you definitely hit me up on either Bindle or Twitter and get me over to record it. I love doing these things. And this is a great group of guys over here at Blazing Buds, so if you guys are looking for a war clan to come join, definitely hit them up. They are 99, 23, and 7, but they've been doing very well as of late. Look at this green streak here. A couple hiccups here and there, but with this clan, you are definitely going to get a lot of wins. So definitely shout out to them. Shout out to Lars. He invited me over here and definitely loved visiting with them, talking with them, and I'm going to spend a little bit more time with them. They're going for their 100th war win, so I definitely want to be here and watch that, and who knows, maybe we'll have another Wars with Friends from them. But for now, thank you guys for watching. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back.